So God distinguished women from everything he's ever created with this term, pure. want to pump out these uh, word from the word. And uh, I'm kind of in love with word studies and some of the language that God uses to describe us. And so that's what these little word from words are. And this one is over the word pure. And it's out of Titus chapter two, verse five. And I want to talk to you about it. The word pure is used in the description of a godly younger woman. And it's not just pure describing, you know, um, kind of some generic uh, aspect of her. It's literally ingrained in her character. And the term pure is the term, it's hognus is how you pronounce it. It means innocent, unspoiled, pure. Um, what's neat about this term is there's a variety of words you can actually translate pure. This one was used in the Old Testament uh, Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament called the Septuagint. It was used to describe the instruments that were in the Ark of the Covenant in the place behind the veil in the Holy of Holies. And why that's significant is all the things that were back behind that veil belonged to God. They did not belong to man. Man was not allowed to touch them. Only one man was allowed to go back there once a year to perform these kinds of duties in this kind of holy place. And it was just very protected. And Paul uses that term to describe how God views women. And this is huge. So, you know, girls, you were created by God for God. You were not created for men. You weren't even created for yourself. You were created for God. So this is something that I, I, I tell in terms of especially dads all the time. This is how you raise your daughters. This is what you want to pour over them. They were created pure. They were created reserved for God. <laughs>